Hey everyone, and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video, albeit one that is a bit more tangentially related to the actual game experience itself. I'm going to be talking a bit about the community of World of Warcraft. There's been a lot of discussion lately about uh, negativity and anger and things like that going on, and a lot of that is spurring off the fact that we did have two very big topics appear, sort of, you could almost call them drama topics, um, mainly being Australis and, um, of course, also the Class Order Hall mission stuff. Now, Asmongold and Preach both done videos on this, I've watched their videos, great points, enjoyed them, and I think it is a topic that is worthwhile enough that um, perhaps people in the same position that the three of us are in, uh, you know, it's worth us making a video and sharing our thoughts because, um, well, you know, it's, it's maybe the responsible thing to do, I suppose. Now, first of all, I want to say that I think the idea of there being a community is a little bit facetious. Most of the people who play World of Warcraft, they just log in, they do whatever they want to do in the game, they log off, they don't check forums or anything like that. That's most of the people who play WoW, or at least I would imagine. I'd be surprised if it was the, the opposite to that. And even within the vocal community of WoW, you're really just dealing with a bunch of sub-communities or microcosms who maybe don't talk to each other that much. You've got the MO Champion forums, you've got the sub-communities of every single YouTuber, and of course they're all in a big Venn diagram. You've got the WoW official forums, what a lovely place. But my point is that really there is no overall community, it's just a bunch of microcosms, so whenever, you know, you hear like, the community needs to do this, the community needs to do that, Really, it's it's not that much of a broad strokes issue, but what I really want to talk about here is the issue of polarization and hyperbole, because I think they are really the two things that are a problem. I don't think negativity is necessarily a massive problem, and the same goes for positivity. I think they're both great things. They both are completely applicable in loads of situations. What matters is what they are surrounded with. So if you get negativity that's really hyperbolic, then that's just loud and useless. If you get um, positivity that's surrounded in hyperbole, that's loud and useless. If you get somebody who is angrily positive about the game, such that they go out and attack people who disagree with them, that's just as bad as, you know, somebody having a negative opinion of the game and doing that. Really what this all comes down to is that there just seems to have been a bit of a polarization going on. And generally, whenever groups get large enough and whenever big drama events happen, such as the shutdown of Australia's and the Class Order Hall mission stuff coming out, what happens is polarization increases, hyperbole increases. And I think as a YouTuber, a lot of us definitely do see the hyperbole bit quite poignantly. So as an example, you know, I did that video about the, the Class Order Halls, and in the first half of the video, I gave an overview of the UI, and then in the, ne the next part of the video, I went through what was going on with the entire process, um, including doing a bunch of missions on my character. And I said, you know, yeah, I was honest. I said, I do not like the missions. I don't like them from a gameplay perspective. Um, yeah, the, the same problems the garrisons have are, are not always here because it's about reward systems and things like that. But I just don't like the gameplay, quite simply, of, of the menus. But equally, I said, I really did like the stuff you were doing on, uh, on your class. And as a shaman, I thought it was really cool interacting with the NPCs that I was interacting with. And I can imagine some absolutely excellent class-based storytelling going on within that system. So there was a bit of both there. There was some positive and some negative. And of course, what happened is the negative was focused on and uh, hyperbole was applied and you find yourself getting taken out of context and things like that. And this just seems to happen with absolutely everybody. And maybe it's a symptom of a, a larger problem that, that's going on when it comes to discussion, probably discussion on the internet, it really isn't always the nicest thing. But yeah, my overall point here is that what's happened is there's been this sort of polarization in that if you were, let's, okay, this is a terrible idea, but let's just make it political and say left and right, okay? So the right's more right, the left is more left, the void in between is even larger, and everybody's more angry at everybody um, because of that widening of the void. And I suppose it's that sort of thing where if you disagree with somebody, maybe there's that natural tendency to then try to distance yourself uh, from that person or their opinion. Whereas what probably is most, the most useful thing is to engage and, um, you know, to get closer to that, to that person, not necessarily get closer to their opinion, as in change your own, but at least understand where they're coming from. One thing that I think I've definitely noticed as I got older and when I was younger, I was really stupid in this regard, is that people generally thinks, you know, they think something for a reason that within their own internal logic makes sense, because most people are actually kind of reasonable and come from a place of logic. It's just that everybody's logic is uh, somewhat different and that's kind of human nature. 
Anyway, let's get away from preachy bullshit and rubbish political analogies and back uh, to the topic of polarization. So, Warlords of Draenor, obviously an expansion. A lot of people had a lot of opinions. Many of them clashed. And I know certainly I wasn't the biggest fan of a lot of things that went on in that expansion. And uh, it's probably worth saying that, yeah, I probably could have communicated a lot of things better and, uh, you know, slightly more constructively back in the Warlords of Draenor days. But hey, you live and you learn. Certainly, uh, I think now I understand there's definitely more of a position of uh, responsibility for someone in my position to communicate ideas in a way that's uh, hopefully a bit more constructive. Um, so yeah, I failed in that, sorry about that. But anyway, all of that stuff has kind of left us with a really polarized community that really wants Legion to be good. I think, I hope that's the one thing that is universal with all of us, whether we like a system or dislike a system, it's because we want the expansion to be good, and indeed, a lot of the arguing and shouting is because everybody wants the expansion to be good and we just slightly disagree on the specifics. Uh, which is kind of funny. But anyway, one topic that I do want to bring up is influencers. That's the catch-all industry term for anyone with an audience. It's a kind of horrible term, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah, influencer. Sounds a bit scummy. But I do think that it's worth bringing up sort of the role of influencers or, or whatever in this um, stuff because a lot of what we do is punditry, right? So I'm a pundit. Everybody's, most of the YouTubers do some form of punditry in their, comment, uh, their contents and uh, the same stuff goes on for the streamers, and at the end of the day, it all just comes down to one person's opinion, and they're just sharing that with the internet. Sure, maybe a lot of people agree with it, and that's maybe why it got popular, but it's still one person's opinion, using the power of one brain, as opposed to many other brains. So I suppose I'd almost just say, take every YouTuber and every streamer's opinion with a grain of salt, because we're all just one person. Um, at the end of the day, like, let's be real, none of us are some sort of, you know, magical sage gods who know things. That's absolutely not the case just people saying words, um, so it's it's just worth taking it as that. I suppose just after there's been a lot of polarization um, when it comes to the, you know, Warlords of Draenor and maybe one or two Legion things that people think are uh, controversial, like, say, in Astralis or whatever, maybe it just ends up being that if somebody is leaning towards uh, One Direction in terms of, not, not One Direction, the band, ugh, uh, you know, is leaning towards an opinion and then they see, oh, wow, you know, this sort of streamer person who I like is also thinks that, shit, now I'm validated, and then it kind of gets blown out of control, blown out of proportion. I'd say no, take everyone's opinion with a grain of salt, smooth it all out, and that's maybe how, how I would recommend uh, approaching things. Another topic that I want to talk about in this video is authoritarianism. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. So this is actually what spurred on my video about an Australius, or an Australius. I still can't get that name right all the time. But essentially, I noticed that a lot of people, you know, had a genuine desire for something that I think was honest, heartfelt, and not really with that much ill intent. Um, and the response to that was a very author authoritarian one, saying, you know, no, screw you, uh, this is wrong, Blizzard's TOS is, is this, it is an iron, fuck you, shitlord. Whenever, you know, the really, the, the I don't want to say the higher thing to do, but the more... Uh, the more productive thing to do, certainly, would be to say, okay, well, you know, you clearly have a desire for this form of gameplay. How can we talk about that? How can we maybe get some of those elements into the live game? Or maybe, is there a way, indeed, that Blizzard could, um, you know, maybe move in that direction? But at least let's have a dialogue about it rather than just try to shut people down. And as this heatening of the, the community that everybody's been talking about has, um, you know, seems to have happened, I've just seen more of that authoritarian sort of slant. I've seen that with commanders, I've seen that with um, other content creators, and every time I see it, I just, I cringe a little bit because it's just like, do you know what you sound like? Come on, you know, have a chat with somebody and try to convince them, but don't tell them not to think something because they're wrong. Because they're never going to think that they're wrong if you just say, hey, you, you're wrong, period, the end, you're wrong. Ah, bit shit. So yeah, watch out when everyone's doing that, and um, of course, you know, as a content creator, these are all things that I need to apply to myself. Nobody's perfect, it's totally okay for anyone to fall foul of, um, of, of some of this stuff. Because at the end of the day, you know, everyone makes mistakes, and that is grand. It's just about moving forward in a constructive manner. And I guess that really is most of my opinion on all of this community stuff, it's just, you know what? Let's chill, let's not be polarized, let's not use hyperbole, let's just try to chat about things. Um, really, when it comes down to these topics, we all want the same thing. So, really, there is no point uh, rowing about it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you for watching this video, if you made it this far. And it was a bit of a strange video, a bit out of left field, but certainly we'll be back to the regularly scheduled legal content extremely soon. Thanks for watching. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to have more of a chat about this, and I'll see you later.